Hi guys, I'm Phoenix1278 and welcome back. Today we've got something a little bit different that involves leaving the house. So, tag along with me to see something really quite awesome. Now, just for transparency, this is not a sponsored video. I've used Novatech personally over the years for both home and personal use. And it was one of my friends who works there that said I should really see their new toy. I asked if I could film it, they said yes, so here we are. Well, we've made it to our destination, and this is Novatech. What's inside? An Atomic A3 full motion simulator, which I've been nicely invited to come and have a go on. Now, this thing is brilliant. It's a seat and it moves and it takes all the information from all your force feedback games and translates it into movement. Let's go check it out. This is the Atomic A3 full motion simulator. Powered by dual actuators, this thing can roll you around at a maximum of 27 degrees and throw you forward and back at a staggering 71 degrees a second. The frame is completely adjustable and can accommodate players from 4 foot tall to 6 foot 7 at around 140 kilos, 308 pounds or 22 stone approximately, give or take an inch or two here or there. And as I'm 6'3 and do a pretty good impression of a stick insect, this thing fits me like a glove. This is the driver or flight yoke setup, and at the moment it has a Fanatec Club Sport wheelbase pedals and a BMW steering wheel attached to it and it really is an amazing steering wheel. I have a Logitech G27 at home and I thought it was pretty good but that thing absolutely blows it out the water. Now the A3 uses a nifty program called Symfinity to control the motion of the chair and what's really nice is that almost every motion of the chair can be adjusted to suit the player who's using it at that time and then they can be saved and used later on or transferred across to different setups. So if you're getting beaten black and blue, then you can actually tell it to go easy on Granny the first time you get her in it. But luckily it does have a big red bun on the side which you can smack if it's all starting to get a bit too much. And what is also really great is that the software offers the ability to link multiple chairs together. That's right, you can have eight people on a roller coaster all screaming their heart out. So far, the A3 is compatible with over 100 titles out in the market. These include Project Cars, Dirt Rally, Elite Dangerous, War Thunder and DCS World. And I think you can also get X-Plane 11 to work on it as well, but you need to get a couple of extra add-ons just to fit in there. In the first part of this video, I am driving around Brands Hatch in a BMW just to show you how it looks when you're on a track compared to how it looks when you're on off-road surfaces. As you can see, when I'm on the track, it actually seems quite smooth. Going around the corners, you roll quite nicely and there's not too much jagged movement. But as we move on to Dirt Rally, the first thing you notice is how much I'm getting shaken around by the surface of the road that I'm actually driving on. So each game will actually have its own telemetry which will change the way the chair works. So by the time I had actually finished the 7 minute stage that I was driving around I actually felt quite beaten up when I got out of it. Now to me that's exactly how I want to feel after I've done a long rally stage, they're not the easiest races to take part in. Even just sitting at home with my G27 doing these stages, I work up a bit of a sweat, but this thing really makes you feel what's going on and makes you feel like you've actually raced something by the time you've finished. Now this is what I get to see. We're in a Ford Falcon V8 supercar and we're going around Bathurst in Australia. Now I love this track and I love this car and to feel it like this is just incredible. I've done many, many laps on project cars on this circuit, but I've never once experienced them like this, and it's absolutely fantastic. Another awesome gadget that this chair has is basically two speakers stuck underneath the seat to replicate the vibration of your engine. And I gotta say, it works pretty well. I definitely could feel the engine through the seat, especially when I was in a low gear going around a slow corner. It's the small sensory vibrations plus the actual movement from the chair as you're getting thrown around combined with the powerful Fanatec steering wheel that makes this experience so immersive. I've never 
ever had a chance to try it out like this before and I tell you what, it's going to take some beating. Now the reason I'm so excited about the Atomic A3 and other racing chairs like it is that as when I was growing up I used to wish for a lightsaber to be delivered by Father Christmas, which never happened unfortunately, I always loved going on full motion stuff like this. When I was very young I was lucky enough to have a chance to go on the Back to the Future ride at Universal's in Hollywood and it was mind blowing the way you got shaken around and they blasted air in your face and all that sort of stuff really created this magical illusion of actually doing something really special and with all this technology getting cheaper and smaller every year it's now becoming something that is quite easily put into a garage or a spare room that people can just use. To put it into perspective, when these things were first invented they were exclusive to the military. The military used them to train their pilots without actually having to send them up. 30 years on from that you'd find them at carnivals or at fairs around the country on the back of a lorry so people could experience what it was like to be driven around a race circuit in a Formula 1 car. 20 years on from that and they're pretty much what you see here. They are only the size of what you'd actually take up in a car yourself and that's pretty impressive if you ask me and that is why I'm so excited about this. They're coming into the consumer market. Yes, they are still quite expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, they're not anywhere near as expensive as what they used to be. So that's just food for thought. The A3 can also be set up to use a hot house system using a different set of mounting brackets. And I was able to try that out on Elite Dangerous, and it was a really nice experience to fill that game with that extra dimension. Normally you don't have a chance to feel any of the thrusters kick you around when you play the game because no one does a force feedback joystick anymore. So to feel a game that is usually so flat and cold was really nice to have that life breathed into it with this chair. It really is a great experience and it works really well regardless of whether it's flight sims you're using or it's racing sims that you're using. So all round this chair is just an amazing piece of technology and I just can't wait to see where it all goes. So that was the Atomic A3 Full Motion Simulator. It comes with a great bit of software that turns all your force feedback games into full motion. All the racing you do, all the curbs you hit, all the planes you fly, all the rolls you do, it all gets translated into movement. And I tell you what, it is an amazing experience. If you like VR, then you definitely need one of these. So, how awesome was that? If I could get rid of my dining room table and put one of those in its place, then hell yes, I am doing it. Not sure wifey would like it though but anyway a very very big thank you to all the guys at Novatech who invited me along to give this thing a test drive i tell you what it is the most amazing bit of kit i've had a chance to try out in a very very long time and a perfect companion to the vr system that you have but anyway if you like the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button there's gonna be new content coming soon leave all your comments and suggestions down below and i'll see you in the next video unfortunately without a chair